Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and I have one million one hundred eighty-two thousand three hundred twenty-six dollar. Make you holla! <laughs> so we got some money to spend, you guys. And uh, yeah, we got some we got some big plans uh, for this money. Okay, so we are going to start by purchasing a brand new large five hundred plus horse tractor. I know I got this and I can use it and I have been using it, but it's time for us to get an, a, a real tractor. Why? Because I want one. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I, I want a, I want a third tractor on the farm and an actual tractor, not, not the, the man semi truck. Um, so yeah, let's do that first. We're going to go into here. Uh, there is nothing in the sales that we want. Um, if something does come up for sale or you know over the course of the next year um i i could always you know consider selling the brand new tractor and getting the used one instead if it if it made sense to do so but here's the thing um i have spent a little bit of time you guys know that i've always wanted the jcb problem with jcb is it only goes up to 348 horse and there's no option to change that so I think the best bang for your buck for a 500 plus horsepower tractor in the base game, I haven't really looked at, you know, modded tractors that much, is this Fint uh, 1000 Vario. Um, because what you can do with this is if you put the biggest engine on it, it it's a 517 horse, but it also has, um, it, it's very fast. Um, this, this thing, I actually tested this. It actually goes... It says 37, but I actually got it up to 39 miles an hour. Um, super, super fast. And it's a 500 horse power tractor. Um, so I think this is what we're going to get. I, I've, I've given this some thought. I've looked at other stuff, tried a few other things out on a test save, that sort of thing. And um, yeah, I think this is what we're going to get. Now, uh, we could, we can also add twin wheels to it. That's going to add another 50 grand. I might do that later, but I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, we're just going to get the standard tires for now. However, I do like the the Michelins. So we're going to get the Michelin tire. Well, actually, do I? What is the... Seems like the BKTs are a little beefier. Yeah, let's get the BKTs. I like those better. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, 517 horsepower, ladies and gentlemen. And the third tractor on the farm let's do it it's a done deal no put that away look at this butte all right fantastic start her up let's put the beacons on because we can take it for a spin okay hold on my wheels all screwed up again there we go Look at this thing, man. Look at this fancy schmancy. <laughs> That's like we're in a spaceship. Oh, this is so cool. Total digital readouts and everything. What a nice machine. All right. We bought ourselves a brand new tractor. Now, one advantage, of course, of having a brand new tractor is that it's not going to it's not going to wear out as quickly. We're not going to be spending so much money on repairs like we do on our used stuff. So, uh, you know, but we spent the money on it up front, of course. But look at this. Yeehaw! All right. Let's see how fast I can get this thing going. 37, 38, 39. Yeah. It tops out at 39 miles an hour, guys. That is the only tractor that's faster than that that I've driven is the JCB. And, and that goes up to like 42 or something. Uh, does it? Or maybe it goes a little faster. But anyway, for a large... 500 plus horse tractor 39 miles per hour <laughs> is pretty nice pretty nice indeed okay cool so we got that done now next thing we're going to do is we're going to do some animals so let's go over to the animal area in our brand new tractor this is awesome Okay, so we're going to park right here, and we're going to go into the... Actually, before we do this, 
Um, I want to, I want to save. Because we're going to do a little bit of landscaping and, and I don't want to screw stuff up. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the build menu here. All right, so um, we are going to get into the wool business. So we're going to get some sheep. Yes, indeed, we are going to get some sheep. One of the most lucrative products that you can sell in this game is clothing. And um, so we're going to start with sheep and wool and maybe later on cotton. Uh, but we're going to start with sheep because sheep are actually easier than cotton. Uh, because of the fact that, you know, it, it's such an investment to get the machinery to work cotton. Um, all right. So the first thing we got to do is I want to uh, do a little bit of landscaping here. So let's get uh, the leveling tool out. And I want to make sure my screen is... Well, I want to make sure it's pretty straight with, like, the cow barn. Not so much the landscape because we know the cow barn's perfectly angled because I've got a a snap snap the template thingy on it. That's pretty close there. Okay, now um let's go ahead and increase the size of this to about there, and we're gonna go ahead and just slide this way. To about there. Okay. And I think too, let's reduce the size of this and come back this way a little bit too. That should do what we need it to do. Just kind of looking a little more here. <clears throat> um, I might want to come this way a little more too. And maybe even just kind of round that little area out there. Very good. Okay. That takes care of that. Now, looks pretty nice and level. Now remember, we are going to, at some point in the future, upgrade our cow barn to the large barn. And that's kind of why I've kept this here, because this is like the footprint of the large barn. Um, and when we do get the large barn, we still are going to need room to be able to drive out of it too. So we have to take that into account as we're doing this. So we're going to grab the largest sheep barn, and we're going to turn it this way. And line it up so that it's... Uh, lined up with the cow barn that direction. And then the edge of the, the cow barn is going to come, <clears throat> excuse me, to right about there. But like I said, we, we need to leave some more room to be able to drive in and out of it. So I think I'm going to put this right here. And guess what? We're going to do two of them. There we go. Okay. Super. Now, let's uh, hop out of here. And just kind of look at everything and make sure everything's looking good. That got up on up a little bit, but not enough to matter. I think it's fine. We could maybe it's use this little section over here to, uh, you know, maybe stage some silage bales or something too later on. I might want to smooth this out a little bit more through here now that I'm looking at it. So let's um, let's do that. So we'll go back into here and. Let's go, yeah, let's go this direction. And make sure we're 
pretty close to lined up to the barns. Looks like we are. Landscaping, smoothing, or softening. And let's raise this up a notch. And then we're just going to kind of go along through here and smooth this out. All right, let's look at that. Oh, that's the cow barn. Yeah, that looks nice. That looks pretty nice. I think we can work with that. Get out of here, crow. This is a little bit jank over here, but you know what? I'm not too worried about it. I think it's fine. Very good. Now, the next thing we need to do is get some sheep. Okay, so we are going to fill these things up. So let's see. We've got four different breeds of sheep. We can put 65 in the barn. So since this one's at the top of the list, and for no other reason than that, we will do uh, 20 of these. And then we'll do 15 of all the rest of them. Okay. And then 15 of these. Fifteen of these, and fifteen of these. <clears throat> Hi, sheep! Make lots of wool for us! <laughs> Alright, cool. And then, of course, we will do the same thing on this side. Um, here, let's do it this way. Select by yes. Select by yes select by yes select increase to 20 and by yes all right now one of the cool things about sheep is that all you have to feed them is grass you don't even have to you can feed them hay too but you don't even need to feed them hay you can just feed them grass uh so let's do that now. I actually happen to have a spare grass bale that's been sitting around for years. <laughs> um, so we'll grab that and we'll give that to one of them and we'll have to give hay to the other one. So you can do either or. But you don't have to do like TMR or anything fancy like that. They're really easy to take care of. Which is interesting because they're also... Well, I, I don't know for this for sure, but they're potentially more lucrative than the cows are. And they're way easier to, to take care of. So, go figure, right? When you take all the other things into account, you know, that cows offer, though, you know, manure, slurry, all that sort of thing, that may not be the case, but... And I, as far as I know, it doesn't matter um, if you feed them hay or grass in terms of their productivity. I think they're it's the same, uh, from what I understand, so... Okay, let's grab one square bale from here. I don't know how many bales it takes to, to fill them up, so we're just going to give each each of them one apiece, and then we'll see where we are with that. Oops. Come on, man. Grab them both. There you go. I need to fix this little janky part there, too. I am planning on putting more chickens there, but I'm not going to do that this year. Okay, so let's, um, we'll give these guys hay. Oh, I guess I'm up higher than I thought I was. And we'll give the second uh, 
sheep barn grass. Okay, so if we look at these guys now, they've got their grass and their trough. Uh, this is, just like the cow barn, this is um, self-watering. And then these guys got the hay in their trough. Nice. Okay, so if we go to our productions now and look at uh, animals, Total capacity effectiveness of grass 100 per yeah see grass gives them 100 percent and oh this must have this one must have um not been a full bale or either that or oh it was is a smaller bale that's what it was okay cool all right so it looks like they both can take another bale of pop so let's go get two more hay bales and then then that's all we got to do <laughs> it's so easy uh, but these guys are going to make us some money, you guys. You just wait until you see how much we're going to be able to sell the clothing for. It's going to be good. So, yeah, we'll go get a couple more bales uh, to top them off. That's good enough. Okay, so they should be completely full uh, with food. Both of them are. Beautiful. All right. Make wool for a sheep. Have fun. Enjoy your new home. You better cost a lot of money. <laughs> State-of-the-art sheep facility. Okay, cool. So that takes care of that part of today's fun endeavors. Now, next thing we're going to do... Oh, wait. You go back over this way. Okay, let's run over here. And now we're going to put some new productions up. Okay, so once again, let's save the game. All right, now uh, we're going to go into the build menu. Okay, so let's see. The first thing I want to do is I want to do some smoothing on this field. So what we're going to do is go to landscaping and smoothing, softening, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to try and just, yeah, smooth things out a little bit. So just going to run this several times over. I thought about running the leveling tool. We probably will need to do that somewhat, but that's expensive for one thing. The nice thing about this softening tool too is it's not it's non-destructive. Okay, that's uh, definitely better. I'll soften that a little more down there too. And actually, while I'm at it, let's um, uh, let's reduce the size of this and kind of chill this out a little bit down here.
Okay, so I think just, you know, kind of looking at it this way, that should serve our purposes for the most part. Okay, now let's go to painting and to asphalt and increase the size of this. And I'm going to, I should have, I actually had intended to do this a long time ago, but never got to it. So we'll just paint around there. I can't paint that part there. Um, why don't we hit this, though, too? Just get that grass away from the fence there. Okay, that looks okay. And maybe... Get the screen straight. Okay. That takes care of that. All right, now... In order for us to make and sell clothing, we need two things. We need a spinnery and a tailor shop. Uh, so let's do this. Let's see. We have $534,000 left. Um, so. All right. But we're, we're going to do a couple other things, too. So I want uh, we're going to put a grain mill in. And I've already kind of, like I said, you know, actually, hold on. Before we do anything else, let's save again. I've already kind of worked this out on a test save for the most part. Okay. So what we're going to do here is... Uh, I've got productions and grain mill. And I want it to be this direction. And I want it to be um, the the silo portion of it, uh, where we drop the grain off, to be lined up with the edge of the dairy. And we need to make sure we have enough room to pull in to the load area with the trailer, but it doesn't have to be super big. Um, let's go right there. Okay, so did that line up? Pretty close. Okay. All right. So that gives us our very own grain mill. Right next to the grain mill, we are going to put a sugar mill. And I want this to, the edge of this to line up with this fence, because this is the side where, where we will drop off the sugar beets. Um... And then I also want to, there's nothing on this side of the building, so this could could uh, bump up all the way against the fence, except for I don't want it to. I want it to be lined up with the grain mill. Um, so, you know, it looks good. So the edge of that building with the little awning there, here, let's turn our screen this way a bit more. Yeah, right about there, I'm thinking. And then we want the edge of that to be lined up with the fence, and boom. It's not perfectly lined up, but it's close enough. It's It could have gone back one more notch, but that's all right. Now, I'm going to... Uh, we're going to make... We're going to fix this. Yeah, don't worry about that. We're going to fix it. Okay. So that takes care of that. Now, next order of business here is we're going to put our spinnery in. So let's go to... Um, here, there's two types of spinneries. There's this one, which is kind of more of a, I, I'm guessing like a European style spinnery. And then this, this one, which is, I guess more like an American style. I mean, I don't, <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know how you gauge something like that, but I, li I like this one better anyways. Okay. So the load area for this is there. And so we're going to turn it this direction. Um, well, actually, hold on. What if we turned it this direction? That would probably make things a little easier to access. 
except for I'd want to hold it back more here because I want a nice clear shot for when we have to dump grain off into the grain mill. Um, so we can pull this back to here. Um, actually not sure if that's what I want to do. It, it it either needs to go this way or it needs to go this way because it's too it's too wide the other way wider than i want it to be and it would pro it would be more accessible i think if we do it this way so yeah let's let's do that and i'm actually going to line well yeah I, i'd rather line this up with the base of the grain mill rather than this way cuz then it's going to stick out too far on this side well actually is it maybe not might look better if we do it this way. There. Okay. All right. Good. So that takes care of our factory... Well, I, I guess what we we could say are tier one factory buildings. Now uh, we're going to come over to here, and we are going to put in a bakery and a tailor. So make sure we're reasonably straight here. The road itself is kind of at an angle, so it's hard to get it perfect. Okay, that's pretty close. Okay, so let's go to, um, uh, let's see. We're going to do this bakery here because it looks a lot nicer than the, the other bakery. And we're going to put this here. Actually, hold on. Before we do the bakery, let's do the, the tailor next. Taylor shop. Um, cause I'm going to put that over here and it's going to unfortunately be blocked by the billboard, but I can't do anything about that. And at least until, and unless I get the editor, but that's lined up with that. And I think we're going to put it right there. Okay. And then we're going to take the bakery and we're going to put that right here and just kind of try and more or less evenly space it out between this and the tailor shop. And these will be kind of like our storefronts here. And, you know, it's uh, it's been my intention all along, uh, for a very long time actually, to put all of my productions in the same yard. I know I can buy the ones that are on the map, but then I have to travel to them and I'd rather have everything here. So, yeah. So between Mama Joe and I, we're like creating a whole new downtown area here in Elm Creek. Okay, so that's lined up there. That looks like it's fairly even. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Very good. Okay, so we got the productions in place. We still have $144,000, but I need to do some landscaping work now um, to kind of finish this off. And we, we, we basically, for the time being, if not permanently, still have this little hay field here that will still, you know, um, harvest for hay. So let's go ahead now and do a little bit of landscaping work here. Um, what I want to do is save. Always save before we do landscaping work. Okay. And let's grab the leveling tool and turn that to a square. 
And I basically want... this building area to be level ish um okay here let me get at this angle This will probably soften and have like a little gradual slope because the the street rises here. By the way, um, yeah, it's it's at it's at a slight incline, so that's why these aren't perfectly level. Um, and I decided to do it that way because if I would have leveled everything, it would have cost a heck of a lot more money, and then we it would have made things look weird, you know, coming off of the street there. Okay, so. I'm going to raise that up a little more, and then let's just kind of go along here, too. Okay, now let's soften this. Okay. Do a little more softening there. Very good. Now let's paint. So we're going to go to painting and, um, yeah, let's just use asphalt. We don't really have a lot of options for that here in the base game. Uh, so we'll increase the size of this. Okay. Let's reduce the size and just get rid of that little section there. And then on the back side, We'll also just kind of run this. Along here. Ah, oh, shoot. Got a little too far over that way. Okay, let's fix this here real quick. Um... Actually, you know what? Let's just yeah, let's just turn all of this into might want to change to a round. There we go. Okay, cool. Um, I think I'm good with this. I'm not too worried about that little smidge there. All right, now uh, we're going to have a road. Well, we basically kind of have a road going this way, and we're going to have a road going this way. So let's save again here. Okay. Now, again, I want to kind of get nice and straight, as straight as possible anyway, for this next part here. Okay, 
Now, let's go to landscaping, painting, and gravel. And we'll increase the size of this. Maybe bring it back down one. And nope, bring it back up one. And let's just go nice and straight down this way. All the way to there. Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, we need to soften this a little bit more here. Yeah, that's good. Whoops, stop. Got stuck. Good thing that wasn't, like, leveling or something. Uh, all right. Now, let's um, get rid of this here. We could probably leave that as grass just for the hell of it. <laughs> um, okay. Now, let's go back to here. We're going to do the same thing going down through here, uh, but we'll start here. Oh, let's make sure we're straight again. Ish. That's pretty straight. Okay. We're all the way to there. And we have a nice little road going down through that way, too. All right, good. Good. Yeah, we got we got to do some work there. And uh, See the problem with leaving this here as grass is it's going to grow, you know, cuz it's hay. And that might look weird. So, I think we need to get rid of it. Um yeah, I think we need to get rid of it. So, let's just go back to um asphalt for here. And let's also smooth this just a bit. Okay, that's good. And then back to asphalt. Make that a little bigger. And now, you know, now that I remembered, too, about the this being hay, uh, we need to get rid of it right here, too. Okay. Same here. And down through here. And down through here. We're totally industrializing the area. Let's smooth this a little more here. Okay. Looking good so far. Looking good so far. All right. So what we could do here. Well, you know what? Actually, no, we're not going to do that. Let's um, let's just turn this to asphalt, too. It really looks more like concrete than asphalt, but. Um, kind of wanted to leave that grass there a little bit. It just kind of looks nice. Got a little too far over there, but that's all right. Not a big deal. All right, now let's increase the size of this and paint all of this asphalt because this is going to be an area that we'll use. Well, actually, yeah, we need to we need to fix that here, but let's give this a squirt, and this can be a smaller squirt.
I would have left it the grass there if I could have, you know, but I mean, I could repaint the other kind of grass, but I think this is fine. Okay, looking good, guys, looking good. Um, now what we're going to need to do is we're going to make, we're also going to make like a little road going back here and we got to, we're going to have to fix this scenario. So I think what we'll want to do is I'm not going to be able to, I don't think I'm going to be able to reduce the size of that because it's level with the sugar mill. So we're going to have to level this back part out here. Let's um save again. Isn't this fun? <laughs> I'm enjoying myself. Hope you guys are enjoying it too. Neat stuff. We're making making some huge, huge uh, progress on the farm here. Up upgrades to the farm. Okay, so let's go to, to landscaping and leveling. And I'm going to increase this to the big one for just a little bit anyway. And we're gonna bring this out to about here. And bring that up a little. Okay, that looks pretty good. Bring that in a little more too. Cameras acting a little odd. Okay, now, um, no, nope, I don't want to do that. I want to come from here over to here but a little more gradually. Okay, let's switch to softening now. Okay, we're gonna put another gravel road in next. Uh, once again, let's save first. Okay, so uh, we'll go to landscaping, we'll go to painting, we'll go to gravel, and we're going to use the round shape, and we want it to be right about here, I think. Okay. So let's start working our way up this way. And then it can kind of end over there. Get these little spots out of here. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to kind of work with the road a little bit more just to kind of um, make it as smooth as possible. Well, and the smoothing tool is probably what we should be using for that, huh? Or the softening tool. It doesn't have to be perfectly level, but we want it to be pretty smooth because we'll be traveling across it, of course. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that being not perfect because it looks just kind of looks more natural, you know. Okay, so we got a bit of a bump there that I want to that's where I really want to kind of relax that I 
And I wouldn't mind actually building this up a little more here too. Okay, now let's smooth. So yeah, it's going to be a, a little bit tight in getting through here, but we can we can do it. Definitely can do it. Um, and you know we still have this bump here. Oh yeah, I guess we can chill that out a little bit more. Stop it! it keeps getting stuck on me. That's not too bad. It's not not too bad. All right, yeah, let's go with that. Let's go with that. I think that'll work. Look at our productions, guys. Isn't this awesome? <laughs> That's great. It is great. I love it. Okay, cool. So, uh, where does that leave us then? That leaves us with $129,000. Um, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm not going to buy any fields right now. Um, I want to wait. I want to wait and see what's planted. But at some point this year, I would either like to purchase a field with a grain on it that we can use for the grain mill, preferably barley. Um, but it doesn't really matter because, you know, we could put, I think we can put barley, sorghum, wheat, and oats in the grain mill to make flour. But barley's, I like barley the most because we also get straw from it and we, and we can feed the chickens with it and it sells for a little bit better than wheat. So it's just a little more valuable. Um, but yeah, uh, rather than buy a field now and go to all the work like this one, for example, I was going to buy this, uh, but I want to wait and see what's going to be planted on here first. Um, if we're lucky, either a grain or preferably sugar beets will be planted on this field. And then we'll buy it, and then that way, you know, we'll have a sugar beet crop that we can uh, use. Now, I do have some sugar beets in storage, uh, which we are going to go get and throw into our sugar mill to get that going. And I have quite a bit of barley in storage, and I'm, we're going to take a portion of that um, and put that in the flour mill, too. So, I think we're pretty much done for the farm upgrades for this year. And, uh, you know, and I didn't, I didn't completely drain myself dry this time <laughs> on the money. So we have some operating cash. Um, and at some point, you know, we're going to be, uh, our farm is going to be so, uh, it's going to give us so much of our own work to do that we're going to be doing less and less of contracts, but I still don't think we're quite there yet. I mean, it's just really worth it for me, you know, to do the fertilizing, the hay contracts, the cultivating contracts all of that. But as again, as time goes on, there there's going to be less of doing stuff for other farmers and more of just doing our own things. Uh, I know the animal yard is still kind of looks like a bit of a patchwork, but I'm not really worried too much about that right now because it's not important and landscaping is expensive. So we'll probably wait until we get the large cattle barn in and then our chickens in. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm planning on putting two chicken coops over in this corner. And that'll probably finish up what I'm planning on doing for animals in this series. Uh, I'm not really planning on doing pigs or horses. That doesn't mean we won't in a future series, but uh, just probably not going to do that in this series. Okay, so with all that being said, um, we still, you know, preserved our hay field. Oh, actually, hold on. I'm not done yet. I want to I wanna actually extend this road here. Here, let me do another save because we're going to do more landscaping. Yeah, I forgot about that. So, yeah, we want to take, uh, go back to landscaping, go back to painting and gravel. And get the circle and, yeah, get this guy here. So, it's kind of hard to be perfectly straight here, but. Yeah. It doesn't, well. Yeah. 
It doesn't have to be perfectly straight, but I would like it to be somewhat reasonably straight here. So let's reduce this. And just kind of... Well, no, you know what? I, I screwed that up. Here, let's start over. That's why we saved. Okay, we're back. So, what I want to do is... It's really hard to work on this because I don't have a perfectly straight, uh, you know, way to measure it. But what we're going to do is I'm going to go, I'm going to use a smaller brush. And it, it, the edge along the field in particular is the one that I want to make sure stays, you know, reasonably straight. But yeah, see, it's it kind of isn't though because it's it's wandering down that way a little bit. Oh man! Okay. Thing is, though, is this road needs is going to need to be a little bit wider than this. Well, it doesn't actually need to be, but it kind of should be. It's not too bad, I guess. I almost feel like it should be one more tick this way, though. Yeah, that looks good. That looks pretty good. And, I mean, it looks reasonably smooth, too. It is, you know, slanted towards the creek, but that's not necessarily a problem. We could maybe smooth it a bit here. All right. I'm liking this, guys. I'm liking this. So we still have a decent little strip of hay here that we can harvest. And um, we didn't completely remove all of this hay. Uh, you know what I am going to do, though? Let's just kind of... Uh, let's go painting and we'll just do the the dirt texture here I want to kind of just round that off a little bit there we go and this looks a little weird too so let's just get rid of this that grass there. And there's no point in having this here anymore either. Okay, good. You know what you know, once I have everything placed the way that I want it, you know, we might plant a few trees too. Just just to make things look nice. But yeah, we can still get a, a little bit of hay out of this area over here um, this coming season. And then, of course, we have our massive hay field right here. And I'm just, like I said, I'm going to wait and see what the computer farmer that owns this field plants on here before I purchase it. And likewise, any other fields for that matter. But I think we're good. I think we're ready to take on this next year. And um, the sheep are the, you know, kind of the main thing that we did. And they are going to... Uh, I'm expecting, anyways, them to make us some money. For sure. I hope so. We spent quite a bit of money on them. And, uh, 
yeah. So let's do this. Let's get out of here. And uh, we want to go into, oh, the thing about animal productions, and I've mentioned this to you guys before, is that you can't auto uh, distribute the products like you can from the greenhouses and the other non-animal productions. Have no idea why. It doesn't, uh, doesn't seem to be any rhyme, to re rhyme or reason to that as far as I know, but that's just the way that it works. So um, we are going to have to, you know, then each month, deliver the products to the to the productions but that that's fun though i mean uh, I'll, I'll actually enjoy doing that it's just part of the fun of the game right um so i don't think we need to change anything else let's take a look at what actually needs to be done in terms of what's coming up so we need to get our chickens some grain uh we need to go get the bulk of the grain from the train station well actually you know what i might do I think I'll fill these guys up, and then I'm going to just throw the rest of the grain in the grain mill. I mean, absolute worst case scenario, we buy we we can buy more feed for the chickens later on if we have to. It's not that big of a deal. Um, so yeah, we'll fill the chickens up, and then take the rest of the barley to our grain mill. We'll do all this in the next episode, and uh, we are going to need to to feed the cows again, and we're going to try our hand at probably some manure and slurry fertilizing this year. So that so that's why I'm continuing to let that build up. Uh, in fact, I should probably feed the cows before I end this in-game day. Uh, sheep are good. We just have to keep an eye on them and make sure they have plenty of grass. And then as far as the uh, greenhouses go, they are starting to get low on seed. We should be fine for at least one more month on them. And what I want to do, though, is um, we're going to sugar beet sugar. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to mess with cut cut beets. It just seems like it's a lot of extra work for not a lot of extra gain. If I'm wrong about that, you know, let me know, of course. But we'll once we get this loaded with the beets, which again we'll do in the next episode, we will then turn these on and set set uh, this to distribute to the dairy and the bakery, um, which I think it'll just do automatically because we can make chocolate out of the dairy and we'll be able to eventually make cake in the the bakery. In fact. I think we might already have all the ingredients we need for cake. Um, well, here we can look. Yeah, we'll have flour from the mill. We'll have sugar from the sugar mill. We have milk, eggs, butter, and strawberries. Yeah, we have everything that we need to make cakes. And we can also make bread just from flour. So, yeah, we'll work on those uh, new productions in the next episode, and uh, which will be February, and then go from there. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did... <laughs> that's our new horn if you did uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share out the video and we will catch you in the next episode bye bye i love this tractor man it's awesome